Is it gone now? It's gone. It's gone. What's the new thing? The Grinch. The Grinch. OK. The, yes, your recommendation is the Grinch. The Grinch. OK, as you can see, very divided opinion here. One thing's for clear, though, is Pokemon is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what the kids have found. I, it's not me that makes the decision. They love the Grinch, they love 120 miles, but this, load Pokemon's of rubbish. Had its day. Okay, it's so dead. to come, we have yeah. got Phil Jupiter. That's enough now, Florence. Him. He's promoting his new video. And of course, Kate Ritchie's here from Home and Away. But right now, it's time to go over to Jasmine Lyson with the big breakfast news. Yeah. 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 Good morning. These are the main stories on Wednesday, the 29th of November. Madonna's net audience. Is it the chop for French beef? And Ronan mimics Madge. Madonna's played not just to a live crowd, but to one of the biggest internet audiences ever. Those at London's Brixton Academy made up a tiny fraction of the record 9 million who watched the webcast. Microsoft paid the material girl 30 million pounds for the 29 minute free gig. Some thought it worth every penny. It was sensational, fantastic. Couldn't fault it, her voice was incredible. <laughs> it was just, I can't even recover. It's just, it was incredible. Two goods trains have derailed in separate incidents this morning. Diesel spilled onto the tracks when a train came off the tracks near Bristol. In the second incident, a freight train derailed just south of Northampton. Both drivers were uninjured. The Food Standards Agency has sent a team to France as fears of the spread of BSE grow. They'll check health and hygiene controls before deciding whether to follow Spain, Italy, Greece and Holland in restricting French beef imports. Ronan Keating has gone exclusive for his next concert. With private gigs being in vogue, Ronan seems determined not to miss out by announcing a secret performance in London next Monday. Here's the sport. Manchester United suffered an additional hangover from last night's ejection from the Worthington Cup. Dwight York's overexcitement, which cost him an early bath, also means he gets a three-match ban. Kevin Phillips completed a 2-1 Sunderland victory from the penalty spot. England have had a cracking start to the second test. They lost the toss and missed the chance of batting first. But Pakistan soon lost the wicket over Freedy for just 10. And it got better by lunch. Pakistan with three down for 96 runs. That's the Big Breakfast News. Sign is at the house for the weather.